please join me welcoming Dr. Ed Krupp. On winter solstice uh, 2012, the sun, as you will see, have already seen, is a respectable distance from the galactic center. It was actually closer 200 years ago, uh, uh, and um, uh, he eventually expands the range of his, his window. Now, that said, th those being all the basics of, of this material, some advocates for 2012 catastrophes say that a planet alignment will occur in 2012. Uh, there is no planet alignment in 2012. I'm skipping through some views of the Milky Way to get us to the configuration of the planets on the 21st of December 2012. This is how they will be set out in the solar system on that date. Despite the fact that there is no alignment of planets then, uh, the harbingers of doom affiliate a fictional alignment with astrological predictions or with specious claims about reversals of the Earth's magnetic field, which we've heard many times already, and of course unprecedented solar storms, not to mention the fact that we are barely coming out of an extended period of solar minimum that is going to delay solar maximum that's supposed to produce all this stuff anyway. So. If we actually get all those solar storms and everything terrible happening, it's not going to happen in 2012 because the sun is behind schedule. The, uh, there, there, there's no evidence, of course, that, that we're going to reach uh, solar max or that solar max has any of those dubious consequences. Uh, so that astronomy uh, is, is out of the question as well. The galactic alignment harmonic cosmic synchronization Maya calendar shutdown actually makes no sense archaeologically or astronomically, but that doesn't mean we get, uh, a, you know, a kind of a get out of calendar catastrophe free card. Uh, postings on the World Wide Web and conversations on all night apocalyptic radio have warned us that the cosmos has is, us targeted anyway. Uh, there are several threads of irrational thought that have created uh, an internet phantom, a secret planet, Nibiru, who is uh, spotlighted on the cover of this issue of Skeptical Inquirer. Uh, the, the secret planet Nibiru is allegedly on a trajectory toward Earth. There is no such planet Nibiru, uh, although now it is sometimes equated with Eris, E-R-I-S, which is a Plutoid orbiting the sun beyond Pluto. And even if Eris were headed our way, there's no way that it can get here by 2012, but it's not headed our way. Uh, and uh, the... People, nonetheless, who have, have um, bought into this, this sense of doom uh, insist, of course, that the real answer here is that there is a NASA conspiracy in play. <laughs> to what purpose, it's hard to know. The, I mean, I'm still paying my bills, right? Uh, but, uh, but that uh, Nibiru, on the approach, in fact, the claim is made, it should already be visible in the daytime uh, from the southern hemisphere. In fact, by now, it should be visible uh, throughout the planet. Uh, and yet there is no Nibiru uh, shining uh, in the skies. It did not show up in time for the International Year of Astronomy to deliver its starry message. Uh, others on, on the web are even more confused uh, about the alignment of the winter solstice sun with the Milky Way center. And they have declared, actually, that the sun is moving toward the center of the Milky Way galaxy and dragging the Earth along with it. And they predict that the polar axis of the Earth will shift. Uh, Dr. David Morrison, who is an astronomer who invites questions uh, at his website, has been overwhelmed with inquiries about Nibiru and bombarded by complaints that NASA is suppressing the truth. And Morrison wrote, quote, these come from people who seem to want the world to end in 2012 <laughs> and who are upset to be told that it's not going to happen. <laughs> so most of what is claimed for 2012 relies on muddy thinking, pseudoscientific folly, extraordinary ignorance of basic astronomy, a stunningly poor command of grammar, vocabulary, and composition, <laughs> and a level of paranoia worthy of Night of the Living Dead. Uh, Maybe, though, you know, you get to thinking about it. Maybe the Maya were right after all. Uh, the, the clock is, of course, uh, ticking, and it is the end of the world as we know it. Thank you very much. future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. And remember, my friend, 
future events such as these will affect you in the future. Many scientists believe that another world is watching us this moment. We once laughed at the horseless carriage, the airplane, the telephone, the electric light, vitamins, radio, and even television. And now some of us laugh at outer space. God help us in the future.